In this lesson, we're going to talk about number stories. Now, number stories are that one step further from the formal um, recording of calculations. It's now starting to get children to think a little bit more and it's starting to apply those math skills that they've now developed to really start to apply that understanding of addition. And I know we've looked very, very basically at just adding one, and we are still going to focus on that with our number stories. But you can, once you feel that your child is secure with um, adding one, we can then move on. And these number stories can really use any numbers that you wish. So we're really going to think about the idea of what is a number story. We're going to think about how to approach a number story, how to create a number story, and actually how to get your child to create number stories, because it's also very important for them. So a number story is basically just an oral problem. As children move through their addition journey, we look at written problem solving, but we're just going to start with a very, very basic oral number stories where we tell the children a story and they create a pictorial representation, then their formal calculation and they get to their answer. And it's very, very simple. And again, and it's a, an activity that actually gets the children thinking a little bit more it gets them using that mathematical vocabulary and it also gets them starting to apply those skills that they are starting to develop, which is great, and they can be done anywhere. These little number stories are great activities for in the car. You can bring their little whiteboard with them if they want to record it. And as your child feels more confident with the mental addition, they can even do it in their heads, which is great, which we want to encourage as well. So very, very simple. You make up a little story. There were six little ladybirds walking along the road. One more came along. How many ladybirds were there all together? And then hopefully your child will record that on the whiteboard. So let's do one together so that we can get that idea. So I might say to my child, there are four little ladybirds and I might even draw them for them already. Uh, there are four little ladybirds and they're all in the garden eating some leaves. And one little ladybird comes along and says, can I play too? How many ladybirds are there now all together? And what you want to encourage your child to do is you say, look, here's the four little ladybirds. They're all eating the leaves. One more comes along. How many are they all together? So what could you do? And hopefully your child will say, I'm going to draw another little ladybird on there. And they'll draw their little ladybird. And then they will add them all up and they'll tell you that there's five ladybirds now. Then you want to push them that little bit further and we want to use all those skills that we've talked about and we want to say, right, now that you have got your answer and you've shown me what you would do to find your answer, do you think you could record that in a formal calculation? Do you think you could write a number sentence to show what you have done on here? And hopefully your child then, with a little bit of assistance from you, will be able to come up with, there were four ladybirds, one more came along, we added one more and we ended up with five ladybirds in the end. And again, you might try again with something different. So this time it might be a problem about sweets. You can now start to even think about other aspects of maths as well, like colors, like shapes, like things like that, to get them to start thinking about those different aspects of maths. So in this one, I'm gonna really focus on color as well as numbers. And I might say, I had five sweets there were two red ones. Can you see the two red ones? And there was a green one, and there was a blue one, and there was a black one. How many sweets did I have all together again? Okay, I had five sweets. I have five sweets in my pocket, and my mummy was very kind, and she gave me one more. How many sweets do I have all together? And what you're really doing is reinforcing that language, that mathematical language, so you're getting that one more how many all together. You're getting all those vocabularies in there that your children are able now to get used to and are actually able to put into context. So again, what you're encouraging or hoping your child to do is that they will draw their one more little sweetie and you might even say, "I, my mommy gave me one more red sweetie. And again, they might draw it in the red. So again, you're taking in those other aspects of maths and they will tell you that you, they have got six. And again, this is the point where you'll encourage them and say, could you write me a number sentence that shows what you have done? And again, they will record their number sentence 
for you and you can actually start to see that they're really understanding what those numbers and what those symbols actually mean. The great thing about number stories is that the possibilities are endless and what you want to do is also flip it onto your child and you might actually want to give them a calculation. So for example, I might say to my child, I want you to make me up a number story for this calculation. So three plus one equals four. Could you make me up a number story? And hopefully with some encouragement for you, from you, and you might even want to model at first because that's what I would tend to do in the classroom. I would say, right, here's the calculation. Now I'm gonna make up a number story for you. I'm going to tell you that there were three little boys, and this one's got spiky hair, and this one's got curly hair, and this one's got very straight hair and the three little boys were going for a walk in the park and when they got there they saw one of their other friends so there was one more friend one more little boy and he wanted to play with them and they were very kind boys so they said okay and he came along and he played with them and then there were four little happy boys and i'm going to say my calculation is there were three boys one more came along and now there are four. And again, it can be a really fun activity where your child can be as silly as they want to and you can make up really fun stories, but actually the whole time they're applying those math skills, they're using those numbers, they're practicing their number formation and they're actually putting their skills into context, which is actually really, really important. And it allows children also to see the relevance of maths, to see the everydayness of maths where it might actually be used in real life. And sometimes that's actually very important for children to actually think about when they would actually use this and why they're actually doing it. So a great, a great little activity that again, as I say, can be done anywhere and that can, you can take on different rules. You can be the leader, your child can be the leader, but the most important thing is that they are applying in context. So please don't underestimate the power of number stories because actually they are an, a very valuable activity that don't actually need any resources to actually carry them out. So do avail of the number st stories and do do it, especially when you've got some free time in the car. It can take only a few seconds and actually it can make a huge difference to your children's mathematical understanding.